Hey everybody, it's Jeff, and we are back with day 10 on the Viking expedition ship Octantis on the Antarctic Explorer Cruise. So today is our last day of shore excursions on this cruise, and we woke up off of President's Head on Snow Island. The big event for today is a shore landing via rib boat on President's Head Beach. As you can see in the Viking Daily, landings were scheduled from 7.15 a.m. to 11.05 a.m. this morning, and according to the list, ours was a 7.25 a.m. departure. Now this is a reverse surf landing, meaning that the rib boat comes in backwards and you exit the boat in the shallow surf. So there is a chance you could get a little wet if you step off in water higher than your boots. So just make sure your pants are over your boots and not tucked into your boots and you should be fine. So this was a great place to explore. There was a lot of elephant seals here. We found them playing in the surf. There were some just waddling around, and some were tussling with each other on the beach. And then there was this really scary looking guy who was actually just yawning, so he wasn't as bad as he looked. But these guys can be huge. They're up to almost 9,000 pounds and 12 feet in length, so it's probably good that they can't move that fast on land. So you could wander around the beach here a good bit. However, there were specially marked paths in some places to avoid people damaging some of the sensitive areas. And those included areas where there were whale bones laying around. So you can see a, a number of places where we ran into whale bones. Now, off at one end of the beach, we ran into Professor Dowdswell, and he dropped some more knowledge on us, which is always great. He knows the area very well. And really, there were just some amazing views here on the beach. You could walk from one end of it to the other. So then after we returned to the ship, my wife was really excited that she was able to get a picture with Lee Arneson, who, along with Anne Bancroft, are co-godmothers of our Viking ship, Octantis. So she was on board for this maiden voyage, which was really neat. Uh, Leave has accomplished some pretty amazing things in her life, including becoming the first woman in the world to ski solo and unsupported to the South Pole. So it was a real honor to be able to meet her and talk with her on this trip. Now, later in the morning, we did our final special ops boat ride for this cruise. And we got some really great seats on this trip, right behind the pilot seat. So you get a good view of some of the tech that's on board this boat. It's pretty impressive. Uh, my wife and I always enjoyed the process of departing from the ship in these special op boats via the ramp. It's really a f fun process. So on this ride, we saw s some more penguins. And we also saw some larger seals hanging out on, on a beach, and including uh, one leopard seal who's on the right in this picture here. Not really easy to see. The boat was doing a good bit of rocking, so this picture quality wasn't that great. And then on the way back to the ship, we came across this albatross floating in open water. Now, it's not really easy to, to tell from this picture, but these birds have up to 11-foot wingspan, and it's actually the same type of bird that is the one on the ceiling of the Blue Room just outside the Aula Theater that you can see here. So it's a large bird. Unfortunately, I didn't get a video of this, but when he, when he eventually took off, it took some serious runway and a good bit of running on the water to get this guy airborne. He is big. It was kind of funny to watch him get airborne. Today there are also kayak opportunities and a couple of lectures in the Aula Theater along with wildlife watching on the bow from 3 o'clock to 5 o'clock in the afternoon, and then your normal evening entertainment. But since excursions are now done for this trip, we everybody had to put their boots out by 1 p.m. for collection, so that was kind of sad. Then at the daily briefing this evening, they discussed the day's events along with the penguin nest total trip count. So this is when they count the number of penguins that are nesting at each of the places we stop and they give us updates on the regular 
nightly daily briefings that we go to, and this was the total count for the trip. And then they also discussed the weather for the upcoming Drake Crossing, which, if you can tell by this picture, was not looking too great, honestly. There's a lot of red here, and if you can see that, the speed associated with that color is not, not a good wind speed. However, on the bright side, tonight my Fitbit informed me that we had climbed 221 total floors over the last seven days, mostly due to the fact that my wife and I almost never took the elevator, and we did a lot of wandering around the ship and exploring on most days of the trip. So we got to visit all the floors. So that brings day 10 to a close. We now head out to return across the Drake, and ideally to swing past Cape Horn on our way back to Ushuaia. But you'll have to subscribe to the channel and tune in to the next video to see how all that goes. Talk to you then.